My name is Atlein Miller and I am the application specialist for genomic services here at the In 2020, Inarobato introduced the first SQL 2 e system on the African continent, which allowed us to produce high quality data eight times more than we would on a simple system. This in turn reduced the cost of sequencing across various applications such as amplifying sequencing, microbial genes, and transplant In 2022, PepBio introduced a highly flexible, high throughput radio system to address, amongst other things, the cost of sequencing as well as the turnaround time. However, the sequencing cost for big genes such as plants, human, and animals remains significantly higher than the sequel 2 e system. This impacted the rate at which we wanted to introduce the smart sequencing technology in such markets. Talking about the turnaround time, the radio systems allow for the sequencing and the completion of four smart cells in less than 10 hours. This is as a result of the system being equipped with four independent stages, which allows for the sequencing of four smart cells simultaneously. Compared to SQL 2 e that would be like a week. This is a great advantage for African researchers who look to have their data in no time. As in Alberta, we are so excited to have partnered with UNISA in bringing the first state-of-the-art review system to African continent and to African researchers. As a lab, as a company, as a service provider, we are now ready to start receiving a sample of the sequence in the state-of-the-art review system. I'm Professor Tangarizen Mapoli, a Deputy Executive Dean at the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences at the University of South Africa. So we, this is very excellent uh, news for us and a uh, good opportunity for us uh, seeing the paid bio platform actually growing in South Africa, especially now the acquisition of uh, paid bio review. So for us as University of South Africa, we're really happy to be able to collaborate with Innova Biotechnologies and be able to do the research together. And this is the, I think as, a, as, as an in a university and also Innova as an industry, this is the partnership that is required for South Africa to be able to grow. So for us, uh, University of South Africa, we've been working with Africa Biogenome Project for the past few years and the goal is to sequence all the genomes across Africa and for us to be able to do that PEG bio review is that um, instrument that we need and it's very cost efficient and we think that for us to be able to get a very good long reads uh, data and a quality data that will be able to build the genome reference this is the platform and we're happy to be able to have a uh, part of the, to be part of this um, uh, acquisition and between UNISA and INAVA and Africa BP, there will be a lot of genomes that will be processed. We already sequenced in the previous um, one, which is uh, SQL2. So now doing it in the uh, pay by review, it's a very good way because then it will be cost efficient and we can be able to do many more, more genomes. Thank you. My name is Matati, an NGS lab technician here at INAVA Biotech. Using the new review system, Fewer kids are required in library prep up to sequencing across the various applications we provide. Using the new streamlined workflow, library prep is quick and efficient. Hi, my name is uh, Hamilton and I'm part of the NGS team and we cover biotech. And uh, I'm one of the staff that handle data that comes up in this room. And I think one of the advantages of the system is that not only does it produce uh, long, high quality reads, uh, but when you actually work with these reads, it gives you one of the most comprehensive views of the genome. Uh, from the review data, not only do we have access to the genomic landscape of the human genome, uh, but we also can zoom down into single nucleotide variations, uh, which is very important for a variety of applications. And so I'm very excited about uh, the data that comes off this instrument. My name is Professor Anne Wigai. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Academic and Student Affairs at the National Defense University, Kenya. I am a professor of genetics and the chair of the African Biogenome Project. We are especially grateful for the investment that Inkaba Biotech and the University of South Africa has made towards the purchase of this state-of-the-art PAC bio review sequencing platform. Conventionally, such a platform uh, would not be available on the African continent. Indeed, such investments in the bioinformatics and biogenomics 
area would not be present on the continent, which would make it very difficult for us as African scientists to sequence our genomes on the African continent. Investment such as these has repercussions that we will only be able to see in the future. This is because we will be able to train on the continent, we will be able to enable more early career scientists uh, be retained, employed, and work in these areas on the African continent. And that's the, the impact that this uh, investment will make. For this, I can only thank these two institutions, uh, that is Inkaba Biotech and University of South Africa, for really, really being at the frontier of science and being at the frontier of the change that we are going to see on the African continent. I would like to extend a very, very sincere uh, greeting to the Vice Chancellor of University of South Africa from the Vice Chancellor of the National Defense University, Kenya. We are looking forward to enhancing our collaboration with you and we look forward to continue to partner with uh, UNISA through the African Biogenome Project and INCABA. Our hearty congratulations, INCABA Biotech, University of South Africa, we as the African Biogenome Project, the National Defense University, Kenya, stand with and beside you, Hongera, as we would say in Kenya. Thank you. In addition to the radio system, which is our long way platform, I'm thrilled to introduce to you to a new PET Bio Onzo system, which is a short wave platform. The Onzo system is based on the sequencing by binding chemistry, which is a major contributor to the type of data that you get. By the type of data, I mean the Q40 plus level of arteries. The independent flow cell lanes and the external cluster and brings a level of flexibility that has never been seen in the short wave market before. The of arteries will allow our customers to sequence at much reduced depth and also reduce the cost of sequencing. We are so thrilled to have this system and start offering the services to our customers across the African continent.